No, they're back again. The hegemony investigators have returned. They once again want to take away my beautiful AI cores. All the things I hold dear are in danger, everyone. I was about to go and leave and start something else completely, but this has changed the start of the video completely. Hello, everybody. My name is Fretex, and welcome back to Star Setter and my commander playthrough. We are about to get attacked by a large force with a Legion battle carrier. One of the most big and scary ships in their fleets, but it's okay because we have the literal Citadel battle station available as well as my large fleet of mechs and various instruments. Now, we're going to go right into the combat here. This person wants to talk to me first though. Yeah, we've gone through this before. We know exactly what they want. They want to take my AI and use it themselves. I know what they're like. They're hypocrites. We are going to say this is absurd. You have no authority. No, no. Do you know what? I'm not even going to talk to them. Cut the comm link. Power out the weapons. We're going to destroy these enemies once and for all. Well, for the second time. <laughs> they keep sending more units, but at least if we kill them, they're out the way. Now, since last episode, everybody, I have done some improvements. I've actually gone around and we've picked up some new units. Especially my new fast attack carrier. I've actually equipped it in a way that has a lot of cool things. If we, Where is it? It's a bomber carry, everybody. It has itself some torpedo bombers. And these dudes right here, the Galliant... Class, sorry, Gallant class bombers actually just have a giant laser beam that blows up its enemies. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's a bit squidgy though, but when you see it in action, you'll see why I picked them. Because I feel like it's going to absolutely just blow our enemies away. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Anyway, first things first, we are going into combat here. The enemy is already approaching with their advanced warships. I love these, by the way. I hope we get a blueprint for it at some point. I would absolutely love to have some. Unfortunately, though, I've got a bit of a problem here. My units have just gone ahead. They're so excited for the battle ahead, they've not even considered letting the station join the battle. So everyone pull back. Retreat, retreat. We will let them get closer. Wait, it's happening. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this thing? I don't even know what that ship that is, but all I know is that my new bombers are amazing and I love them completely. Now, I think the problem with the bombers is that they're very... Squishy. So unless the enemy's distracted, it's not really going to work out that well. So we've got to make sure they're protected, they're loved, and they know that they can do whatever they want. The battle's begun. Men, break the waypoint command, join the battle, everyone pick a target. Let's go for it. Now, I'll go for these eagles first, the big version of my ship. Unfortunately, I still haven't got a lot of cool weapons myself, but we're going to try our best to keep this station alive. Now, as well, because we're lacking a lot of blueprints, my station hasn't got the really cool things it needs to survive a big battle here. So we've got to keep it protected at all costs. What is this? What is this ship? <laughs> what is going on with this thing? What is going on? It's... I've never seen this before. It's very odd. Annoying ship to fight. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it, but we'll try our best to keep it out of the way here. It turns around so fast. Did you just see that? Oh my god! Okay, let's go for this Centurion, though. We'll kill what we can actually see. Apart from that, it's going to be a pretty nightmare here. My station is taking a ton of damage. Hopefully, we get some more combat in a second. We have our Sword Mech, so doing some bits over there, which is good to see. Get the Centurion. <gasps> oh, no. They got some torpedoes. I hate torpedoes. Oh, no. Are you okay? She's not okay. That is about to go down. And I think they know it as well. Oh, I hate to see it. I hate to see it. So we're losing some people here, which is not great. We're being attacked on all sides. The enemy is absolutely everywhere. I can't even pull in more units. We have a cap on how many guys we have in this battle. I guess if the station goes down, we can get back up then. But we'll be able to survive the rest of the battle. I have no idea. Oh, look at this little mech go. I love them so much. Wait, I'm coming to join you, buddy. We can take them down together. I may not be able to kill the big ships, but with a friend, we should be fine. Wait, are you running away? No, we could do it together. Fine. <laughs> be like that then. Oh, okay. Well, the Legion's been spotted. My friend decided to go and say hello. Probably not the best idea. Oh, all those torpedoes are coming from the light carrier, the, the giant carrier. I'll see if I can get it to attack me instead. Oh, oh wait, let's talk about this. Look how much damage it's taking. It doesn't even care. This thing is a monster. I can hear that noise. It's my bomb with fire. Did it kill anything? No, but did it look cool? Yes. Oh, someone's dying over there. So it seems there's a lot of enemies on the flank and they're absolutely just causing havoc. Let's call in some additional big ships. We need to get some backup here. 
Unfortunately, all their ships are so powerful individually, it's going to be hard for us to really get anywhere with it, to be honest. But we can try our best. Oh! They're going to kill them. How many more do you reckon they have? They've already fired so many torpedoes, I've lost count. I don't even know what to do at this point. We might have to go and attack someone else to try and get rid of some of their units. What we could potentially do, I'll tell everybody that's on my squad to go and attack this eagle over there. We're going to go and gank it. We're going to be like a zerg. We're going to descend on it, rip it apart, then we're going to move on to the legion afterwards. Hopefully we have enough time to do this before the station falls. If we don't, we might have to retreat from this station completely. Okay, men. Wolf, be careful, buddy. <laughs> move on this guy. Hopefully I'll try and change his direct attack direction in a second. Uh oh. That's a lot of firepower. I may need some assistance if people can show up, please. Okay, I think my Falcon has arrived. My other sister ship. <gasps> Be careful. If we get his flux high enough, it should stop being too much of a problem here. It's working. You can't defeat all of us. There's too many. Wait for it. We've got this one in the back. It is down. Good job, everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Okay. One enemy has been destroyed. We still have the main enemy carrier, though. It's coming closer and closer as we talk. I'm going to probably... Let's think about this for a second. The enemy main carrier is now by itself. It's shooting the station still. It's lost quite a few appendages, but it's still alive. I reckon we do exactly the same thing again. The Legion is a strong ship. Don't get me wrong. It's very powerful. But against this many? I don't think so. We can swarm it. We can kill it. It's a shame that my bomber wing's not over here, because this is when they would have been perfect. Ooh! Oh my god, there's more! I think some ships flew into the torpedoes on purpose to save my life. Wait, what's happening with this one? Wait, oh. Ooh! No! Dodge it! If I get hit by one of those, it's over. My life's flashing before my eyes as we speak. Uh, oh, this is a scary mission. This is a scary mission. We'll keep going, though. As long as I don't get hit by those things, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to stay back. I'm going to stay agile. If they come again, I'll get out of the way. Don't get any closer to me. I think he's got to reload, but the swords at the back... Look at these guys with the swords. Just absolutely carving up the enemy here. Wait for it. Wait for it. <gasps> oh! Ooh. It's dead. We survived. There are still some enemy ships in combat, of course, but we've killed the main enemy fleet's flagship. Hopefully, we can see some more combat in a second. We've got a big ship down there with a little dis escort and a weird phase ship. Why has it got so many circles? What's going on? Is it the Olympics or something? I have no idea. Anyway, we're going to move into it. <gasps> I love them. They're so good. Wait, these aren't mine. These are the stations. We can actually build these ships, so it doesn't surprise me too much. They actually come with them. I think, everybody, we have won this battle. That was awesome. So we did lose two mechs, which can probably be recovered. The enemies lost a lot of people. I'm not going to force a maneuver, but I think what we should try and do, we're going to hunt down these big ass super tankers. They got a giant Prometheus scale super tanker here, as well as the Atlas freighter. I reckon we can kill them all. Well, maybe not these ones, but we can kill the big things for certain. Okay, take command of the action. We're going to spawn in some dudes. Uh, spawn from the left. You guys spawn from the right. If I can press the buttons correctly. Damn my chubby incompetence. Damn it me. Okay, we're good to go. I would deploy this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. He comes with the bombers. We need them to kill everybody quickly. Everybody, deploy. We're going in. So we should be able to catch the big ones for sure. They, they are, there's no possible way they're going to get away in time. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't realize he would be there. The bombers went for the cargo vessel. They should have gone for this guy first. He's the bigger threat here. But I got him. It's fine. Look at this devastation. <laughs> Were you expecting to do this? Do you really think you can inspect the Commander Shepard? The Citadel? Unacceptable. We'll kill them all. 
So my other allies have spawned the sides of the map. I'm pretty certain they've already captured the fast moving vessels. It's just a matter of killing them all at this point. Now my, I think the beam weapons died unfortunately. They, they did try. But if they get attacked like that in combat, they've got to respawn, refuel, get new ones in the squadrons. It takes a bit of time there. So I think we're not going to see them attack again this episode. Episode? I mean this battle. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's a one use thing. Apart from that, two hour recharge. Can you imagine? Wait a second. Who are you? I remember having a random ally in the battle. I don't know where he's come from, but we got a friend. I guess he heard about the power of Commander Shepard and joined in a little bit. <gasps> it's happening. <laughs> I love, I'm not, that's not going to get over me. That is amazing. My friend would love these. He's obsessed with lasers. This would be like the most amazing ship he's ever seen. Boom. Are they all dead? We killed them all, sir. There are no more inspectors in this enemy fleet. They have all been destroyed. Excellent. So if you guys are cool, I always say every episode, but just in case people are confused, we are not allowed in this series to do anything when it comes to recovering vessels. I could in theory right now get this giant legion battle carrier, but no, this is a very simple restriction. We are not allowed to take anything from these bases we can't buy ships we have to make everything we use now i will point out we actually do have the ability to build a legion it's just that it costs a lot of money and i'm poor so that's pretty much the main reason there now these guys have been taken down we can take all their stuff off them which is pretty awesome continue perfect so that reduced oh a new officer why hello there join me join me in my grand fleet we actually need more officers because uh, we've realized recently that unfortunately when we're assigning officers to these mechs, they sometimes die in combat, which is a bit awkward. But it's okay, we can always get new ones. So some of my friends have actually leveled up. We'll make sure these guys have all the skills they possibly need in their lives and they can carry on doing whatever they want to do. Now that we kill that though, they're dead. They've all died. We need to make sure we get all the materials possible from them. And as we fight a big ass faction fleet there, we might have got ourselves some cool unique weapons and stuff as well. So we're going to quickly jump back into the station. We're going to drop off all this junk. We have junk everywhere. Now look at this. This is a complete nightmare. There is stuff all over the place right now. So what I was originally going to... Did you just see that? I got to calm down. Did you not just... Did you guys see to see what we just unlocked? Wait a second. Let me just go and get it. My favorite weapon in the game. Where is it? Give it to me. I need it now. That's not me. That's Santa Claus's ship. The hyper velocity driver has been obtained. This is a good weapon. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get rid of. I don't want these anymore. Get them out of my sight. Equip the hyper velocity driver. And should we get? Well, should we try something else? So we now have one of those. We can also put in one of something else. The range is going to be very different, but it should be fine. What I'll do, I'll do auto reassign. And all these ships. And I will personally control the high velocity driver. And I'll let the AI just deal with the other one. I just care about having the giant rail gun to do everybody. That's my favorite thing here. Confirm. Cool. So, everybody. What do we want to do with this ship build? I feel like it's gotten to the point where I'm reducing this a lot. I'm going to get rid of these missiles. I know. It's crazy. It's, it's mad. But I want to have more capacity to be a bigger tank. Well, that's not actually that much, is it? Wait. That's only like... No, no, no. Do you know what? I disregard my own opinion. Shut up, me. We're going to put them back on. <laughs> they cost three operation point, uh, ordnance points. That's nothing. I'll put them back on. It's fine. So where do these guys go originally? I don't know. Oh, they're separated. That's okay. We can have them on separate attacks. Why not? Done. Okay, my ship is good to go again. We have got a lot of new stuff, but I think we'll keep it for now in the hangar. And we're carrying on with our lives. Let's get everyone going again. So the original part of this mission was going to be a simple one. We were going to go and get myself a new base. I already have one car near course, the Citadel. The most beautiful planet in all of the system. But we actually found a few episodes ago a place which was guarded by an ancient defense fleet. Now the plan is going to be... Let's get rid of these things. We're going to go over there, see if we can defeat that defense fleet. And if we can, we're going to colonize that planet. It had loads of stuff on it. It had like minerals. It had like 
basically palm trees and stuff. That's not really relevant to the game, but it's a reason I want to go there. And also, it had a research facility buff, which I think means that either it's going to have a lot of technology on it, or it's going to have the ability to maybe generate research. Because if you guys don't, if you guys remember, if we go back over here quickly for a second, there's a whole tech tree in this mod set I'm using. Look at all this. We can full on go and just research new technologies. Apparently as well, if I do a lot of exploration, I can get heads of research, which give me special projects. It's awesome. So I want to do that in this series 100%. So we're going to try and do it as soon as possible. Now, if I look at the old map here, to get to the system I need, I'm talking about, we've got to go to Sidor, which is all the way over there. So it's going to be a bit of travel time. We'll start moving right away and we'll get there as fast as we possibly can. I see the hegemony is uh, coping hard right now. Apparently they say their raid failed as they did not get to the target. They were destroyed. We killed them all. <laughs> That's a very different way of events that I've seen. So actually, originally I was going to try and attack a place. I then checked it and they have so many defenses. We have no chance of success. But instead, there's actually a nearby place I can colonize to expand my empire anyway. And there's also a nearby bounty which sells for quite a lot of money. So we're going to try and do both at the same time. Now, I don't know where this man is going to be exactly. But all I do know is that apparently he should be in the system. He's near a barren world, which happens to be... Oh, there's two barren worlds. Wait, I'm going to go for this one. Why? Because it's actually just called barren world instead of barren metallic, which is a bit of a different thing there. Now, of course, we've been in the system a few times already. There's actually a place here... Uh, I think we might be able to colonize. Well, I've got to double check it first. There's actually quite a few places that could be good to go and grab to increase the size of our galactic empire. But we'll have to sit. There he is. Why, hello there. Come back here. Let me destroy you. So I've not seen this ship before. What is this? It doesn't look very big, actually. It's a... <laughs> Interesting. Suspicious mining ship. I think that probably says it all right. It doesn't seem that dangerous, but I guess it's maybe not what it seems as we go towards it here. Let's go and attack him anyway. This is apparently an equal battle, so we want to go with our entire force here and make sure we have everybody possible fighting on the front line. Let's go. Now, this... Ooh. I want to grab these and eventually the sense jammer. Sense jammers, I think, are the... Neptune Mechnog... <laughs> Mekong. I don't know. Whatever his name is, it doesn't matter because he's going to die. Now, I want to grab this guy the most of all because it means that we get like better aiming and stuff and the enemy gets worse. So we want to make sure that is locked in the bag. Now, we do have a load of guys moving up here. Hopefully, we can get to the combat quite soon. Unlock the speed boost, my friends. Increase movement speed. Four extra speed. That's probably not going to be that useful, but it makes me feel better. So, <laughs> the battle has begun. The basic sword mechs are already working on that wolf over there. Now, where? what are these? He's a bit funky, don't they? I'm pretty sure they'd probably be killed by my high velocity driver, though. Oh, I love this gun. This gun is amazing. It also has EMP as well when it hits enemies, so it's just the basically the best gun in existence. Unless it's like a map gun from Halo, then maybe not as good as that. <laughs> well, it's kind of a similar thing. They've got some... What are these? Strange looking ships. There it is! I'm really not sure what I think about this. I guess when it gets closer, we'll see what happens. It might just like transform into like a giant pirate horde or something. Okay, let's get a bit closer and take these guys down. Oh, my friends are doing a great job over there. Oh, they're so good, those pirate beam. Okay, we found him. He doesn't seem to care that much. We take. I don't think it's actually the most amazing combat ship in the world, but I don't know. What's he got in the back here? Look at all these guys. He's got a lot of unique looking ships here. I tell you, every time I play uh, Star Sector, I love all the new ships from the mods I download. It's so cool. <laughs> There's so many different options and stuff. It's a really cool game. I, I absolutely love it, guys. It's one of the best games ever made. I, I hope it comes out on Steam one day. It, when it's finished, of course, when he's happy with it. Because I reckon it would be massively, like, acclaimed. People will buy it in droves. It's going to be glorious. Okay, this guy's actually a bit tanky with his armor. I think I'm going to go for this... Colossus instead. Try and take that guy out of the picture. We're trying to hold these places as well, but we haven't got a lot of dudes doing a great job, unfortunately. We've got to try our best. When we get more bombers, I should probably change the picture a bit. What I should probably do... I'm going to quick zoom in a little bit, if I can get over there. We've got a bunch of random ships doing, like, 1v1 jewels. Fair enough. I think what we should probably do is assign some attack missions. So I'm actually going to do you two. 
Wait, if I can not be stupid. <laughs> Go and attack that guy. You two, or you three, shall I say, attack that dude there. Now, we got the ones on the side. So we currently have a guy fighting by himself over that direction. I say we assign the mechs with you to help kill that dude. And finally, we send off our carrier along with the drones at the top here to... Actually, not you two. Problem with, it, problem with exterminate command, right, is they will just become raven. They get like rabies all of a sudden. They will just go for that target no matter the situation. So if I right now say to this man, go and kill this dude, he will just go like, yes, sir. Travel directly through the enemy fleet. Not a good idea. I tell you what I could do, though. I can kill this ship. Let me have a crack at it. Right. Oh, is this a little carrier? I saw it just spawned the ship out of it. <gasps> they hit me with a torpedo. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'll try and move away while chasing this guy down. I've got to be a bit careful, though. Hitting by Being hit by torpedoes is a quick way of dying. Just going to put it out there. Are you going to help me? Join me, brother. We can kill them together. This person won't last very long. We've got a lot of firepower here. She might have got a better energy weapon though. That would be a lot cooler there. Perfect. Enemy down. Let's spin around. Oh, there's a lot of fighters coming our way. Mechs, be careful. Wow. That was a great missile barrage. Killed like everything. Okay, in terms of missions though, I think everyone's killed their targets. So they can capture the bases. Apart from that one over there. They just killed someone. No. How did this how do they manage that? I mean they got a lot of guns on that. It probably just overwhelmed it, right? Yeah, maybe the engage command wasn't the best idea. I should have gone for um or well, sermon. I should have gone for engage instead. It's a bit safer. Less suicidal thoughts, to say the least. Okay, this guy is a big ship, but I think he's not gonna hold out for much longer. And we should get reinforcements soon. Let's go for this little guy on the side though. We can definitely take this guy out quite quickly. If he can even defend himself. <laughs> Unless I miss. Like right now. Wait, he's taking. Please hit. Please hit. I mean, land my shots. You're making a fool out of me. How dare you? Dead. Oh. Okay, we've got the big ships left alone here. They're trying to defend a little bit. We we'll get rid of these missions. We already own the points. So we don't need to have them anymore. Let's close in. Tie the noose. Kill the enemy pirate fleet. Wait for the swords. Be careful, guys. Kite down. They got a lot of fighters still, unfortunately. I haven't seen many bombers. I guess they've been, like, wiped out and they need to recharge still. Oh, look at this. They're just clumping together with all their point defense trying to survive. This won't last them long, though. They are going to fall eventually. It's a matter of time. I'm just shooting them one at a time. Oh, no. Not this time. I saw that coming from a mile away. You can't trick me twice. Well, you probably can, to be honest, but let's not publicize that. This one's going down first. He's having a bad... He's dead. I'll go for this fellow next, who's got very big armor damage all over the place. Let's get out of it. I want to try and stay away from that mining ship. It's going to block my shots if it, if it can. Let's keep out of the way. Everyone else should be swarming in, but they're kind of keeping their distance, unfortunately. It's probably because that ship's maybe a bit scary or close range, so they're just staying away in case they get caught by it. But your shield, my friend, is about to go down in a second. Okay, we get a bit closer. Uh oh. We can start using the pulsar lasers. Oh, there's a lot of missiles! We're okay. Did you take a shot from me? I'm so sorry. <laughs> just floats off. He did his mission. <gasps> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I was going to hit the shot. If I get the engine, it'll turn off. Got him. You're defenseless now. Ooh. Mining ship has been destroyed. There's still a few enemies here and there. It's just these two big ones. What are these vessels? They look pretty crazy when they're highlighted. I think that means they have like... 50% more damage temporarily, so you've got to be careful they've got missiles. Oh, they got loads of missiles! <gasps> be careful! Luckily, they all missed. <laughs> Look how cool this ship is! Wonder what fashion this is from. 
It's probably a pirate version of a normal ship, but it looks pretty cool to me. Oh, it's not going to survive this. We are flooding it. Is there a giant box on that ship design for some reason? <laughs> I'm not crazy, right? I saw it. There's a giant box! I don't know. I'm surprised this guy hasn't died. He oh, there you go. <laughs> I was going to say, it's a tanky man. Dead. The bounty will be mine. We did lose a few ships, but we can maybe recover them after combat. 100% death rate. Excellent. Recover the ships we can use. Pick through. Sorted. So I got a new extended shield mod spec, which could actually be very useful on my own ship. Because I get 100% coverage. I'll take that. We're also going to have a... a uh oh. This menu's lagging. We need to reset the game in a second, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. We've also got ourselves a bunch of new weapons and whatnot. Unfortunately, not another high velocity driver, though. So you can't win them all. Done. I haven't leveled up. But Santa Claus has. That's all we need to know, really. Santa Claus, you are now maximum level. Congratulations. Level 5 is way too low for officers, in my opinion. It should be higher. I'm, I'm going to change it at some point, guys. I'll put it on my notes. I will modify the game's file. Let me just write down right now. Increase limit officer. Next episode, it'll be in. Don't worry. That's very important to me, because otherwise it takes, like, a few battles, and then they've reached match rank, they never they never upgrade again. I think that's a massive shame. But, anyway, moving on. That guy is out for the count. Was there another bounty here as well? That one's dead. She's not... Oh, she isn't here. But she, unlike the other guy, has a terrifying fleet. We do not want to go and fight two Paragons and a bunch of Doom-class attack cruisers. No. That would end in our doom. <laughs> so we'll avoid that if we can. Now, what for the rest of the video, guys? What's next? I did say I wanted to carnize something, right? So I could, in theory, carnize a place very close to us. We go over here. Unclaimed systems. We go via... Ooh, hazard rating? No, no, no. This. So for some reason it says unclaimed, right? Only show planets that are not controlled by any faction. Though this one is, this is my capital planet, and this is in the, I don't know, it doesn't work 100% of the time, what can I say? <laughs> but there's another option we could pick as well, which I think might be more useful for our current situation. So, currently we're in a system with this place, right? Parwana. Now we can go and colonize that, it's got 175% increased cost though. So it's got a bunch of minerals on it, but it's going to cost an absolute ton to maintain. It might be worth it, we can get a lot of organics and stuff from it, but I feel like for now, not interested however if we go over to this button here you'll see there's absolutely tons of places that are colonizable which no one's using now the problem with this is that it might mean there are some potentially factions inside that own the locations as well but for instance this place right here is in the middle of my enemy main factions capital location probably not a good idea <laughs> just gonna put it out there the other one though the one we saw a second ago go back over here this place is in a system with the Hegemony, the Rust Belt, and the Gensoyuku <laughs> faction. But it's such a good planet, I feel it'd be hard to pass it up. It has ruins, it has rich farmland, sparse ore, organics, habitability. It could be a massive powerhouse location. I'm going to ignore what the factions say and I'm going to go and colonize it. There's also a... Oh, I thought that was a pirate base. It's not. There's also a random station here as well. The Behold a Station. I mean, that's a generic one which has like a story mission or something attached to it. But who knows? Anyway, so what we're going to do then, we're going to go and grab that right away. And we're going to colonize it. What is happening over here? Ooh. Oh. Not as a sign there. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. Okay, I'll go over there, though. I will read up the game while we're flying over just to get rid of the memory leak and whatnot. Because, uh, yeah, FPS is at 43%. Times are going bad. PC's exploding. Don't worry about it, though, because we can always fix it. Oh. We're still losing money. Damn it. It's probably because of this. <laughs> the stupid thing I went for. I got massive amounts of debt with a pirate lord. I don't know how to get rid of it. It's fine. If it means I lose 50 grand a day, that's how my life is. It's self-inflicted. Only I have created this situation. 
Anyway, we are near our target to colonize our new system. I think we have enough troops for it though. We should be fine. Is this place? It is. Perfect. Where is my new planet? The Terra world. Terran world, sorry, not Terra. That'd be way that'd be way worse. Establish Connie. Warning! This will piss off everybody in the system. Do I care? No, I do not. Establish a colony. We're doing it. This is going to be called Haven. After my current Terminator Let's Play of Haven Base. May you guys rest in peace. Done. So as this place has a really low rating, it's going to have a good growth rate. It's going to have pretty much everything you can possibly want in a life. What is this? And we can also make some new research stuff here. So as my faction as a whole, what does my other place make right now? We need to make sure we're building stuff that fills in everything we need. Oh, wait, I just realized we haven't got enough crew anymore. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We need more crew. Give them to me. Please. If we haven't got enough crew, you basically have bad times. Tribute demand. I decline. I reject your offer. If you want to take my place, you can come and attack me, Rust Belt. I'm not afraid. Come at me, bro. There you go. That's my official message to the enemy. <laughs> I'm the most amazing commander shepherd the world's ever seen. Done. It's interesting music. I gotta be careful with music because it's always copyrighted in these games, uh, these mods. So it's a bit of a scary situation to be in. That's, I'll take them all. Give them to me. I'll take a bunch of supplies as well. Not too much. I'll take like a hundred. Just keep me going for a little bit. I could actually go and just flat out. Calm down, music. Calm down. Let's try and get rid of some of these prisoners. There's a reason for this. Join our alliance. We now have a free man alliance. We have me, these guys, and the tri on Security Council guys. We have a big alliance. It's pretty cool. That probably means if anyone attacks me, they're going to get hit by a lot of enemies here. And as we're friends, it also means that... I, I, I can't really think of another reason, but it means something. That's all we know. It means something. So I could hand in AI calls. Shame I can't just purchase their stuff. Uh, like blueprints. That'd be really cool. Oh. Damn it. I <laughs> just wanted some free supplies, man. Is it harmful asking those questions? I just see in the base here there was a man with a bounty target. This is great. This means we can cultivate a a contact, which will give us missions over and over again. And maybe sometimes we can get blueprints of him as well and stuff like that. So it could be a very good thing. I accept. Oh, why is it so far? As I was that's not so far. Why is it so far away? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. I'll accept this mission here then. Done. We're going to do it at some point. Don't worry about it. Cool. We got a new base then, which I'm looking forward to looking at. Now, Haven needs to have some kind of colony plan. So we go and look at our other stuff. Citadel is currently making loads of stuff. It's got heavy industries. It's got mining, farming, everything you can possibly imagine, as well as research. However... It is currently lacking a few things. Drugs. Hard drugs. It hasn't got any of those, but that's not something I want to really invest in, as well as heavy organs, so we'll leave that be. But we are also missing metals, transplutonics, fuel, domestic goods, luxury goods, integrated components, and marines. Now, wait, I thought this made marines. What makes marines? Oh, it was the military base. It's all coming back to me now. It's fine. So we'll do that at some point on my main capital. We're not put on this. Anyway, so we know, we know what we're missing. We want to try and fill that in. So we go back over to you, my friend. Why do I not have... Where do my supplies... I need more supplies again. <laughs> anyway, if I go back over to you, Marish Carney, I'm going to build some light production, which will get some basic stuff going. We'll see some smelting. We can only put one thing on here. One single item can be put onto this base. There's also tech mining as well. What kind of thing is this? It is scattered. I'm not bothered. Maybe we'll do it one day, but for now we're going to ignore that. We're going to go for one of the other things. So smelting or light production. 
I think doing refined goods would be a better idea, personally, for now. So we are going to go for this fella right here. Build. It's going to take a while, though. Let's bear that in mind. Also, we should show you about some money, because both my colonies have not got the upgraded spaceport, which would help them out quite a bit. The access here is absolutely abysmal. Without a spaceport in general, you have pretty much no connection to the outside world. So it is a bit of a problem there. We should probably also invest in a star base and also some ground defenses at some point in the future. Though right now, probably not that important because we don't really have much money to throw around anyway. So it's fine. Cool. So that is on its way doing its own thing there. We have to keep an eye on for potential attacks. If they come at me, we will destroy them there and then. Now, let's have a look, shall we? We have got rid of that. We have detected a mission across the map from us. Really, really far away. I feel like what we should possibly do, we've actually already found a gate over here. So it actually cuts out a lot of the transport time. However, if we go and do that now, we will actually have a problem, unfortunately, with the supplies. So I say first we got up top a little bit. We unlock the nearby gates so we can teleport back here quicker in the future. We go back home, get some more supplies, and then we go on an expedition across unknown territories throughout the star system. What is happening? You have received a ceasefire offer from the adverse. Ooh. I refuse. You're thinking you're crazy, right? This faction is the strongest faction in the game by far. They, they're terrifying. No. No, no, no. Here's my reasoning. Every time I look at this screen, they go up by like 10, 15% growth rate. It's busted. But I'm not scared because I want to attack them where they have two systems. Sorry, two places with pretty much no defenses. Well, there's some star base and stuff, but there's no military bases. If I go there, I might be able to, if I'm lucky, get myself some blueprints from their ships. So that might be a good idea. Once we do that, we can try and make peace. But for now, it might be a good idea trying to get that sorted out. Now, if we jump into this place here, we've got a hegemony base as well as some ally bases and also some ludic path ones. What is happening? Oh, my friend captured a new territory. Good job, buddy. Now, we need to get the gate. Where's the gate? Wait, am I am I crazy? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no gate here. The game's lying to me. We'll avoid those battles for now, because if we're going to go into the depths, we're going to be wanting to fight over there anyway. Oh, that's a bit interesting. Activate gate. Shell through. Sorted. So this is not going to help my income, but I'm going to have to take quite a few supplies for this mission. I believe it might also be worth trying to get myself... What day is it? 17th. We'll do it next time. I was also going to get him to build myself like a cargo vessel and stuff to increase my capacity for cargo, but not for now. I've, I rejected it. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. I refused. Ooh, special talk group error. I presume they were sent here to help defend me against enemies, which is pretty nice of them. But I wish they arrived earlier when I was under attack and not when there's no enemies nearby. But you can't be, nothing could be perfect, right? Storage, okay. There's no free supplies, unfortunately. But we can take from some stockpiles. So I'll take probably 500 supplies. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Well, not that much money. And we're going to make our way over towards where we should be. I probably should also, for future, just grab some... Do you know what? Yes. I'll forget otherwise. We get some guns. This will improve our attack values if we go and raid someone. Or invade someone, should I say. So that would be very worthwhile. Are we good? Actually, no. I'm not going to do that for a while. We haven't got any troops. we are save money for now on that fella. Done. So we got the supplies. We got the fuel. I think we head off and see what we can find. Oh, before that though. Let's get rid of these fellas, don't mind me. And let's go. Delta Wendigo. Ooh. Wendigo, sorry, not Wendigo. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's finished. Light production has been enabled. So we are now producing a very, very small amount. Oh, I can't check because we're across the galaxy right now of light production. Can I upgrade this yet? No, we need to find some technology to do that. 
I, I did kind of go into some places there wasn't that much of interest, so we've gone somewhere else instead. Because you never know what you find. You might go into like a regular system that's not dangerous, and there might be like amazing blueprints there. It's, it's all very random. There's no definites. Just that it's more like... Oh, I thought I was being attacked for a second. Let me just double check something. We're not under attack, are we? No, we're good. We're fine. Yeah, I thought they were going to come and kill me. I was like, what have I done to you guys? But it's still fine. <laughs> Someone's going to probably try and attack my beautiful new planet because it is in fact in like free places territory so they're not going to be very happy about that that was a very good place at all that was awful but it's weird because there's so many attacks coming at the same time that oh the rust belt are targeting haven with a fairly capable expeditionary force projected to be comprised of one fleet its goal is to saturation bombardment of the planet if that completes, the planet's gone. Well, it's not gone. The planet's fine, but my colony's gone. It's radiated the world. We'll be fine, right? Oh my. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Why am I here? Okay, we're going to get. Why am I here? Okay, we'll go this way. Transponder off. We must fall into the night. Stealth. Yes, there's no one here. It's, I was just a sensor blip. Someone sneezed on the, on the radar dish. Oh, that probably showed them where I was, but now we know there's a thing up here. What are you? What the hell? There's a random, okay. Why are you here? <laughs> just in the middle of space. Okay, I'm going to know all this. I'm going to go this way. They actually are in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why they're just out there. There's a nexus. Okay, we're gonna sneak around this way. We're gonna turn off this, turn off that mode. I'm gonna get this radar booster. So nexus is that's gonna be a good world, by the way. If it's got, it's, that's gonna be an amazing world. Sensor booster, proceed. I can see everything now. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. Now there's something there. Is that fleet? We can do this. Scout. There's something else there. I need to figure out what it is. Tell me what it is, game. Tell me. This is a random thing. Don't worry about it. Get out of there. I want to find a place we can go and actually get stuff. I love it up though. Uh, let's go for my super speed boost. I will be faster than ever before. Is there actually anything I can do here? There may not be, to be fair. Nope. This place might just be a future place to go if I want to blow up a giant enemy base. I think we've run out of time though, everybody. We had to go back and defend my base. Haven must not fall to the nuclear menace. Wait, what is this? Oh my god. Interesting. I can't take them though. Come on. Come on. Give me something amazing. Please. Not I, I don't need drugs. I need blueprints. PRV star work. Something. Blueprint package. I accept. That's good enough for me. We're out of here, everybody. We're getting back to base. Go back to Bloss. We need to get the hell out of here. Get to my base and save Haven. Before it's destroyed. Super speed mode. How long, how long do I have? 23 No. Now remember. I actually can't teleport directly into that place. It's not going to work. So we may have a problem. We're going to go there as fast as humanly possible. We need to go to the top one though. Because that's where the gate is. Let's be careful. Go, 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 go. We're fine. That place is extremely hostile. It's like a high threat place. So... <laughs> if we hang around, we simply die. Horribly. We've made it back. Oh, sorry. It wasn't my fault. Look. I was being chased by thousands of AI core things, okay? Do you expect me to run around with my thing on there? Ooh. I'll accept. I don't really care about being at war with the Hivers. And it also will just mean we get more accessibility in the market. Pretty handy. 
Are we going to get there in time? I feel like I'm going extremely slow. Pirates, I ain't got time for you. Get my way. Okay, we need to get to Haven Base. It can't fall again. Arrived in system. They're there. Go, 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 go. Haven. This is down to the wire. They're literally right there. There's one fleet. There's so many fleets nearby. Do we attack now or do we go all the way in? No, stay away. Stay back. We kill this one here. Get the experience. Kill the other one. And then we had to try and save our new base. Remember as well, it's the worst case scenario. If they win, I, that base is permanently polluted for the rest of time. We cannot let that happen. Men, deploy. Our families are at stake here, men. We must defeat the enemy attacking Haven Base. If we fail here, they're not even listening, are they? Everyone will be lost. I just talked to myself then. That's fine. Commander Shepard signing out. Thank you. Thank you for listening, guys. Okay, now. Let's go for this dude here. We must take them down. Oh, wait, what kind of faction is this? Junk ships, right? They got a bunch of junky stuff. Ooh, I got a brilliant shot there on their... Uh... Oh, I thought I was going to kill him. I was so excited. Wait, he's still alive! Mess it up. Try again. Dead. Perfect. Your junk ships won't stop me. Destroy them all. The Rust Belt has declared war on our nation today. We will destroy them all and protect our families. Oh. No way. Let's talk about this. My flux is too... Ugh. It's okay. I dodged it. You think you can defeat me? With your strange ship. Oh. Use the sword, my friend. They're actually Jedi at this point. That's what I decided. I've actually got a squad of Jedi on these mechs. Well, we're, we're smashing it. It's great. Why are you not firing? They should be firing. So I just noticed my guns weren't doing anything. I'm like, that's not right. What's going on here then? This is great though, because if we kill the smaller fleet first, we can then focus on the bigger fleet by itself, hopefully. And this is also why you want to try and get yourself some kind of light defense force, because otherwise we're in a big trouble. Oh, 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 wait a little bit in. Oh, he blocked it. Direct shot. Your engine's done for. Careful, keep going in. Finish him. No, you got that one. One of them did not make it. Perfect. That enemy has been defeated. The shoe. Everybody. Kill as many as humanly possible. Excellent. Sorted. Well, now we have the larger fleet. With ships, I don't really understand what they are. I will not allow this to happen, though. Everybody. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Apart from that, I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode. We'll try and deal with this next episode. I think they're doomed, to be honest. I'm not going to pretend otherwise, but we will try our hardest to succeed here. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Apart from that, though, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.